Dr. Jesse Sanders. I am the owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be talking about aquarium filters and how often you need to change your filter cartridges. So many different brands of filters will say on the box to replace your filter media every month. And in reality, this isn't doing your tank any favors and actually resets your nitrogen cycle every time you do it. Why does it say that on the box? so that the filter companies make more money. Now those silly little floss ones with the little specks of carbon in the middle, boy, those things break down fast and it's on purpose. So again, those filters are where you keep your beneficial bacteria that power your nitrogen cycle, converting ammonia to nitrite to nitrate. So rather than having to replace them every time, how exactly do we keep them clean? So this is my filter from my fish tank. I just took it out. I have had this sponge for seven years and it's still fine, still doing great, um, still in the same condition I bought it. And these sponges come in a lot of different sizes and you can actually cut them down to pretty much fit any common aquarium filter that you have. Now, how do we take care of these? It's very simple. What you wanna do is you wanna take a container of tank water. So usually when you're doing your gravel siphoning and collecting a big vat of water, this is going to be your waste water. And what you want to do is you're going to take your sponge, put it in here, and just squeeze it out a couple times. Now this isn't too dirty. I just washed it a couple days ago. And so you can see all the gross particulates that are in there, but essentially this is now going to go right back in the aquarium. And this is going to go to water your fruits and vegetables outside. And really, that's all you need to do. Um, this sponge should last for pretty much your lifetime and for your fish. You never need to get rid of these, and you never need to replace them until they are literally falling apart. And again, seven years, this sponge is still pretty much the same as the day I bought it. So please ignore what the packaging says on your box. Get rid of your old floss filters. They're just gonna cause you more heartache than anything else. And invest in some solid sponges. And again, these come in many different sizes that you can cut down to fit into your filter. So we hoped you've learned something and congratulations, I've probably saved you a couple hundred if not thousands of dollars for your fish's lifetime. We recommend that you use that money to invest in a liquid-based test kit or a visit from your local aquatic veterinarian. If you have any more questions about fish health or other fish issues, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.